the question you need to answer today is, the question I'd like you to consider today is, how did he achieve a result like this? Well, let's watch! In one of my favorite tanks in the game, the Leopard Prototype, it's nuts! Loses, it was, from the Alp J Clan. It's nuts, I tell ya. That's his name, nuts. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. There's one game for you today. Why? Because it's a hell of a game. I love this tank. I, I, I don't know why. I love, the, I love the Leopards in the 50s. I love the Sniper tanks. Uh, you get close, the E-50's not a sniper tank. Well, it, it can snipe as good as any. It's, it can also brawl, but uh, Leopard, beautiful sniper machine. Uh, I, I like, I've told you this, guys, I sound like a broken record, but I'm going to repeat it again because it's important. Some of you, maybe this is the first video you've watched of a close killer. Uh, I love to tank, I love the tanks with the super high shell velocity. Look at that. And he low rolled that, didn't he? Super high shell velocity, which means when you press the trigger, the shell is there almost instantaneously. And it's all co it's computer programmed. I'm going to mention it again. I won't go on for 15 minutes about it, okay? Just, just uh, quickly. This is a game. It's computer programmed. When the shell... What is the shell velocity here? Let's look. It's uh, a 1,480, one of the highest shell velocities on the APCR, which... Uh, and the APCR is 1,600. The premium ammo is 1,613. The regular ammo is 1,480. It's just a fantastic shell velocity either way. And what that means in the computer program is it arrives pretty much instantaneously, which removes all the delay that would have to be programmed in when you have a slower shell velocity uh, shell. That's the difference. In a computer program sense, that's the difference, right? If your shell velocity is 600 or 800 meters per second, you go click the computer program, which is the game we play, says, oh, it's the slow shell velocity, the target's 400 meters away. And uh, in this game, that means it takes two seconds or 1.6 seconds for the shell to get there. That goes into the computer. Then the, the optics, the visual of the game shows right that's the visuals that's separate but in the computer program it delays things by whatever 1.6 seconds and then samples where is that enemy vehicle moved uh there's a whole bunch of computer programming that goes in there to figure out what the position of the thing you're shooting is that delay there's a whole bunch of computer programming in there how efficient is that computer programming how well does it work Right? Is it all sorts of new variables are introduced? Think about it, right? Because I'm, I'm, I know we watch the screen here, and this is what we see. But think about what's happening in, you know, computer land, in the in the ether, the the server and you and the delays and. Think about it. You ever try to shoot an EBR? The EBR is moving a hundred kilometers an hour. You got nine hundred meters per second shell velocity. You click. You see your shell arc like this. The computer program says, well, it's going to hit the EBR uh, in 1.3 seconds. The thing's moving up. It's trying to sample where it is 1.3 seconds later. Its position is changing. What's the computer program doing? It goes left, right, up, down. You have ping, right? There's all sorts of variables. And then you see on your computer screen, you see your shell go, you see the EBR coming like this, you see your shell going like this, and the shell goes right through. And you missed! Then you play the Leopard with premium ammo, you got 1600 meters per second shell velocity, the EBR is driving by at 100 kilometers an hour, you put your uh, aim circle right on the front of the, you don't even lead the shot at all, you go click, the shell arrives instantaneously. Boom! You slap the EBR for 423 damage. There's no delay. Uh, you you put your you know, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, uh, higher velo higher shell velocity are more accurate. I guess you can you can say that. Yeah, the shells are more accurate. They are uh, because there's a lot less errors introduced. So you, you fire a gun 
uh, in regular gameplay that has 1600 meter shell velocity, you play 100 games and look at your hit percentage, and then you play the same tank with uh, 950 shell velocity and you look at your hit percentage, and uh, you're going to have a much better hit percentage with the higher shell velocity. Okay, enough of that. Let's just look here at, oh, a beautiful shot. He's been uh, a lot of rolls. Let's just look here. What is, yeah, 420 alpha on both. But if I look at his um, shells, he's a lot of rolls in the 390s, 380s, 400, 411. He's low rolled everything. 390. What is going on, Wargaming? How do you low roll uh, 11 shots in a row? And that's what I mean by it's computer programming, right? It's a computer program. That's random. In this computer program, you can flip tails 14 times in a row. Randomly. Low roll, 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 you can you can low roll 18 times in a row in this game. And then the next game, high roll 14 times in a row. It's random. It's random. The definition of random in this computer game. It's not the true definition of random. The true definition of random is not the same thing. I'm not going to explain that because that I'll keep going for... 20 minutes on that one but it's true right this it's it's what this computer game defines as random is what we observe which is yeah you can low roll uh, 14 times in a row unfortunately people play video games and they they watch TikTok and they they snapchat and they spend uh, uh, you know, 15 seconds on a topic and they think they're experts and and uh, there's a generation, especially the young kids, the fanboys and stuff. There's young kids that play video games and this becomes their education. And they, uh, bec just because the game says this is, you know, you get random roles. They think that this is random. But they're not scientists. They don't, they don't understand the, how the universe works. They believe that, you know, they, I've played a video game and... They've learned the concept of random, say, through World of Tanks. So they have no idea what real randomness means. Think about that. A whole generation of kids that are online uh, that aren't educated in the sciences and um, you know, their their thoughts and their the way they understand things are shaped by um, this. That's a, that's a whole other discussion. <laughs> the moral of the story is I like high shell velocity. <laughs> now he's high rolling uh, in a row. Now he's gonna high roll ten times in a row randomly. Or yeah, it's high roll, high roll, high roll. We won't get into the long discussion, but uh, I rest rest assured that it is uh, very difficult to um, to define randomness. And scientists are trying to define randomness by uh, uh, where an electron moves, whether it goes to shell one or shell two in a certain molecule. Randomly, um, the position of an electron in a simple molecule that only has one is random. You can't predict where it is. That's random. Did you know that, what, what is the, I saw this on a, or I read this in a book, how the occurrence of numbers that, that we see on signs and on things, the, the number one is the number that appears uh, the most in human-made society so if like a, if you looking for a, an address or something or a, or a phone number if you're going to try and guess a number of something uh, it's much more likely that the number one is in it than any other number because we always start at one whenever we're talking about anything we start with number you know one two first street second street third street and the 11th street has two ones the, just the way we've designed uh, our math, uh, if, if you have to like guess what street you live on, if you guess 
first street, you're much more likely to get the answer right than if you guessed Ninth Street or something. You know, I'm not explaining it right, but even the the the, the randomness of uh, of phone numbers or uh, or addresses is not random. There's uh, it's skewed by how we've put things together as humans. So it's, it's very interesting. I'm getting sidetracked, aren't I, guys? I do tend to get sidetracked. It's it's interesting stuff, you know. It's, uh, it's uh, the moral of the story is that the roles aren't truly random. They're random in the uh, in the definition of World of Tanks random, okay? They're the World of Tanks pattern for determining the damage, whatever th that pattern is, whatever computer program they use to generate that number, that's their definition of random. That's what that's what it is. Which is not true randomness. But hey, you know, it's, it is what it is in the game, right? You just gotta, that, that, that's what it is. But don't believe for a second that it's, that that represents reality in any way. Unfortunately for a lot of uh, uh, younger generations that grow up on, on the internet and uh, on video games, their, their minds are gonna get skewed by bullshit, basically. And they'll never be intelligent and they'll just have pathetic, hopeless lives. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait a minute. The moral of the story, the takeaway is high shell velocity is better. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Long story short, guys, the higher the shell velocity, the more randomly you will hit your shots. <laughs> okay, how's that? Is that good for a definition? In this game, it's better to choose tanks with high shell velocity. You will randomly perform better. <laughs> That's why premium ammo is, uh, uh, you know, you, you do a lot better with premium ammo. One of the big factors, not just the pen, it's the, it's the shell velocity. But anyways, how did he achieve a result like this? He's got 7,000 damage. He's playing one of my favorite tanks, the Leopard. He's doing fantastic. He's uh, searching a Type 5 Heavy whose last known position is in the in the gully there type 5 heavy shooting he if he pens them could take him out right if he randomly pens and randomly rolls high right but there's always that even the uh, artillery gw tiger could pen a leopard if this guy gets spotted by the type 5 heavy let's see where he goes he's going to where there's cover in the buildings here to peer down into the gully that way maybe he's a little arty safe i guess that's what he's thinking don't just knock things down because the arty might see you he's being very reckless he's driving around recklessly he's not being careful but he doesn't have a lot of time oh they're in the cap okay he knows where he has to go one of them's in the cap is he choosing to go this way okay he's choosing to go this way if the other guy appears in the cap now he would have half the amount of time but what's the chances that the uh, artillery... Oh, no, both of them are in the cap. I was going to say, what's the chance the artillery actually used his keyboard? And he did. They both entered. Why didn't they enter the cap together? And it really would have given them the, the least amount of seconds to reset. They, they didn't time the... They never communicate, do they? Okay, let's see what he can do. He's got 20, 19, 18, 17. It's counting down faster than one uh, click per second. He doesn't have... He's probably got... Just a few seconds, and, and, and boom. Whew. He had an HE shell loaded. Uh, oh, look at this. They're, they're both like HE shell territory. Boom. This Type 5 heavy. Okay, is he going to bounce? Is he going to bounce? Type 5 heavy, just make it count. Make it count, make it count. Whoa, 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 oh. Yes. The Type 5 Heavy didn't even press the trigger and raised that PP high. And I gotta say that was a fantastic game. Nuts. Nuts loses, but not in that game. Look at this uh, metal hall here, guys. He got uh, Radley Walters, Leviya... I don't know how to say that. A tank sniper, Confederate, high caliber, Defender Top Gun. What is that one? That is uh, destroy two enemy tanks or tank destroyers with a medium tank. In one battle, the enemy vehicles must be one tier higher can be attained in random battles only. Well done. And he gets uh, 9,538 damage, 8 kills. And he made some credits. There you go, guys. Fantastic game. One game for you today.
Send him a game, in-game message. Let him know that he's been featured on Klaus Kellerman's channel. Fantastic game, buddy. I will catch you guys on the next one. Subscribe to the channel. Help the channel keep growing. And I will see you guys again tomorrow.